how are we doing? Hope everybody's had a great weekend, 17th of February 2013. Again, remember tomorrow's President's Day in the US, so uh, US markets will be closed. Not making any trade calls or recommendations as you and only you are responsible for the trades you may decide to take. The fact you're listening to this means you've read, you understand, you accept all the disclosure disclaimers on the website and understand that we're just performing some live technical analysis for some learning purposes. It's just some educational stuff. So let's take a a look at what we can expect to see in the week ahead. So I'm just going to flip through a couple of charts. I think the week could be interesting uh, because we've got quite a lot of um, interesting supports and resistances that were uh, tested last week, especially on the on the on the currency side. In terms of um, equities, I mean ES quickly. Just as we've been discussing, right? I was saying that I think the. Um, the pot odds really favor the downside and despite the fact that we could easily continue to grind higher I thought that the most the quickest moves would be coming to the downside right um, this doesn't mean that we won't find buyers but you can see that off these highs we keep on getting quite aggressive moves down the most aggressive one we've seen in a while uh, but buyers coming back in just bam jamming it back exactly to pretty much the scene of the crime where the sell-off started so I'm not going to change my outlook I still think that we can potentially start to grind higher but what this means is that um, basically the upside the, the bulls seem to be tired so what's happening is that um, at any kind of sign of weakness we're getting a lot of uh, sellers jumping in but as soon as the buyers come in nobody's willing to hold overnight and flattening up at the end of the day so it looks to me like we are weakening the downside and, and more than we're we weakening the upside of this range. So going into the week, I'm expecting to see the upside potentially tested these highs if we break higher 23s above 23s. My next real important level is going to be 1531s. That doesn't mean we could fail. Uh, we couldn't fail ahead of that. But I'll be looking at any kind of failure here, kind of gap up into the week with a failure here to to try and look for at least intraday shorts and then see if we get some. Uh, some momentum going but uh, again the the outlook hasn't changed and it's been the same for quite some time to the downside obviously 1500 is a psychological level that whole move back down into the 1500s is going to be interesting if we start to move aggressively lower look, keep an eye at 1492s into 1490s that's a pretty interesting level too okay now Another thing that's going to be interesting is the NQ, right? What's happening on the NASDAQ is we looked at this kind of pattern for quite some time. And the only thing I wanted to point out here briefly is now that we've broken above this descending trend line, keep an eye for the action here. Because if this previous resistance starts to act as support and especially if we see any move back down into uh, 24 uh, 2740s catching catching strong bids then I would not be surprised to see us moving quite aggressively back into test these uh, 2790s okay but the same uh, same uh, outlook as as uh, same rationale same kind of text as we discussed on the ES on the NASDAQ too okay uh, the other thing a lot of people were uh, asking me to look at was gold. So uh, gold pretty much, it's interesting because we're testing the low side of the range. So what do we said? Our range we've been talking about for quite some time has been basically the 1800, 1700, 1600. And you see right now we've moving down with a whole series of lower highs pressing back into the 1650, right? Bam buyers coming in bam buyers coming in buyers coming in and a little attempt here of buyers coming in and what we said is this is really the only level that counts as we were chopping around here as long as we hold above 1650s then we've got a chance to test this descending trend line again and possibly move it back into mid-range which are these 1700s and if we break below and especially if this area so 1625 doesn't hold expect 1600 to come quick you know pretty much everybody and you know and their hamster who had a long position had the the remaining stops were below these 1625s you can see when we got triggered how quickly we moved and that's where the next round of buyers coming in so going into next week what's going to be really interesting for me is are we going to hold the 1600 and start to move back up 
or are we going to continue now uh, needless to say a hold below 1600 is going to be quite a heavy development and I would expect that you know if we start to get daily closes below here I would expect to see six 1560s 1550s tested now if we can't close below there and buyers keep on supporting this above 1600s then I would not be surprised to see the 1650s tested again now what's interesting in the action is that right now the range is still 1800 1700 1600 but should we break lower straight away or especially should we break higher and the 1650s get sold aggressively then we could be witnessing a potential range shift and especially if on the week we hold below here for a new range that would be 1700 1600 1500 right so this week is going to be very very key for gold very interesting week coming ahead uh coming up on gold now you know there's a lot of interesting dynamics to watch this week and i think you know you can see them pretty much if you look at the uh commodity currencies right what's happening on aussie aussie we had these levels and what's happening is we tried to catch pair tried to bounce quite aggressively off these lows and we had a number of pivotal levels on our chart which was 0220s 0360s and 0440s and we caught the strong bounce at these lows then we started to move here in this pivotal zone and we said watch this area because it looks like we're clearly trying to bounce trying to build a base for bam a move back up into four, uh, 0440s right so this is this was the key level we we're talking about 0310s and what happened is we tried to bounce kept on getting sold where at our pivotal zone 0360 so you can pretty much consider this the range right sold back down knife through butter and it could not hold these 0310s so clearly these lows are going to be extremely important for the bulls who are looking for that rotation higher to come in play and a breakout of this descending uh trend line here um uh, or descending channel whatever you uh, you want to call it so broadly speaking, that top of that channel is is still holding, right? And you see what's interesting here is that we've come back down and we're basing at the midpoint, okay? So this is going to be the real, real important level going into the week. Why? Well, let's clear this up a second. Okay, so if we bounce here, then this could be this bullish rotation and this break outside of the channel where we move back up into the top channel we come back down bounce at mid channel and break back out so this would be very pure action okay so see a lot of uh, bulls trying to defend these 0280s now if we cannot hold above these 0280s and the bulls don't defend this well then expect this to break back down and try and attempt to move back down into the lower end of that channel and again on a move back up what are we going to be focused on we're going to be focusing if this previous zone which had been very strong support and resistance pivotal level for consign is going to act as resistance again so 0310 so right now tight what's interesting is 0280s 0310s 0360s okay so let's see how this plays out interesting dynamics on on aussie going into the week uh same things happening on um on kiwi uh, right kiwis held a very very strong bid you can look at it back on the chart it's been very very uh even though intraday sometimes it's looked heavy it's held quite a good bid tone right and the buyers have kept on defending these um uh, all these dips and they've been coming in aggressively uh, the chart i posted on the blog early on fridays i said keep an eye out for a move back up and these were the three levels we were looking at basically was this massive resistance zone we discussed oh 85 tens 85 40s 85 60s so basically it's a 50 pip range where if the bears were going to come and hit this and try and cap this break to the upside this is most likely where we would have expected them to come in and they came in pretty strongly here and we've moved back down so going into the week don't forget that this low is really what the bears need to break however if we break below you've still got a 200 day coming here so you've got a lot of resistance right uh, 
a lot of support here and this resistance is going to be very strong it's a choppy chart i'm not a huge fan of it right now i would watch what's happening if we bounce here at these oh 0430s this uh, previous uh, resistance 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 is it going to act as support so pretty much going into the week i'd say right here we've got these oh 430s that are going to be pivotal for either another back test back up to that upside or a move back down into um 8390s you know to test that 8400 pivotal level so again interesting not 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 a bit choppy for me a bit sideways but still uh cad again is going to be extremely interesting because we've had these highs that have failed repeatedly right not only here but they were defended once twice three times so keep an eye on this level i wouldn't place too much attention here i think the big test is higher up at this previous spike high so as long as this level gets defended i would expect to see uh repeated tests back down into these uh pretty much um what is it zero zero forty range and this has been a very interesting uh level but broadly speaking there's the high range and the one to the downside the pair it's choppy it's a sideways chop we really need either a break out and a hold on a daily basis above these highs we put in or we need to start to get a daily close below this parity mark but clearly interesting levels on this chart too okay Euro yen, a lot, you know, I haven't been reviewing the yen pairs that much. A lot of people have been asking me about this. Uh, what's interesting here is that clearly price is attempting a downward rotation, right? You know what we discuss a lot of times? Bull flags can turn into down, downward channels or bear flags can easily turn into upward channels. And here it looks like uh, there's an attempt of a downward channel for a bigger correction back down. However, however, what you have to keep in mind is that if we break above these previous highs that were defended, let me just uh, clear this up defended quite aggressively you can see all these wicks then i would not be surprised to see a move back up into high range to be very quick and also a lot of shorts throw in the towel and just say okay i'm gonna hit this higher up right don't forget that there's still a lot of people that um want to get in this move that haven't had to get a, ch a chance to get in this move so i'm really not a huge fan of playing yen i'm not trading yen at all these days but clearly this is going to be a pivotal level right here right now going into the week so i definitely uh, um definitely keep an eye on here especially uh in interim how we behave so that's something definitely you want to keep an eye out uh, into the open and uh, and we'll have to see how this how, how this plays out but again that high range is really going to be uh, important to see if you keep this channel and also you can see this descending trend line broadly speaking all this whole series of lower highs has been defended quite nicely so it'll be another interesting chart not my uh you know i'd rather play euro on euro usd but uh speaking of which what's going well let's do cable and then we'll do euro usd lafts what's going on on cable well cable's been sold off very aggressively and what we said the other day is as we were coming into this downside strong uh, multi-cycle support which is coming in at these uh 5490s into 5450s pretty much we said eyes on the daily close this is going to be a very interesting level and we got a, a positive close here on the daily failure to move back up if you make this slightly bigger you can see that basically on both days so thursday and friday price made an attempt to trigger below these uh 5490s you know you can call it 5500s if you want and what happened couldn't get any traction and close back above and then on friday again we made even lower lows but we still couldn't get some traction and we actually closed above so this kind of uh, action here especially if we keep on closing from a day close basis above these 5490s this is pointing to a uh, price potentially at least here to get catch a bit of a breather a bit of a rebound for a move back into 5620s okay these 5620s are going to be very important why because you can see that we base two days in a row here uh the week before and then when we got this big flush of the shorts and we got this positive close this was the area where a lot of people thought myself included this was going to rotate so this is clearly very important so i think the pivotal level to the upside is 
in terms of mid-range action is going to be 5620s. If we manage to get a day close above there, then I'm going to be looking for a move all the way back higher into these uh, 58s, which is a pivotal level, very important level. If we break below 5450s and especially get a daily close, then I would not be surprised to be 5260s, 53 levels getting tested quite quickly. But I'd want to see a daily close. I'd need to see a daily close below that level. But I think here it, it's the risk is for a healthy correction. Then depending on how price moves, Moves this week we have to see how much of a healthy correction or squeeze that could be okay now going into uh, euro what's going on on euro from the broader perspective this is a chart we've looked at quite a lot basically is uh, we looked at this rotation higher we've got a 200 day uh, moving average uh, sorry 100 day moving average here moving up back into trying to regain these 3170s which were also an important support and resistance level and what we said is if we started to break below these daily highs clearly the risk for was for a correction and for a possible move back down all the way into those 3170s okay Right now, what is interesting is that we are really at a pivotal level because if you even look at a channel from that dip low, you see that we're basing right at the bottom end of that channel. Also, from a day perspective here, if you make the chart up, you know, you got a little doji close here. So clearly the market is trying to base. So going into the week, don't forget that also if you just look a bit left right here, you see all these um, wicks. So clearly a lot of support here. If we start to get a daily close below this level, especially below, similar to what happened on cable, you see we got wicks and Friday lower than Thursday, but we couldn't get any downside pressure. If you start to see a daily close below that, then I would expect the 3170s to come quick, okay? If not, we could get a bit of a correction or possibly just a continuation of the trend to the upside, okay? Going back on a four hour chart, just to give you the levels, and we looked at this, uh, this was posted on the blog, and I think this is just a bit easier to see. You can see here how important we talked about these 3350s being all that mattered, pivotal for action, and it's just stuck here. Very, very difficult for price to get any kind of momentum, bought on the moves down, sold on moves back up. So this is clearly a pivotal level. Keep in mind what I said, this is why I put these other pivotal zones is, if we break below, even though the 3300 is, is an important support, the real support is coming down where all these wicks, right? Previous resistance, previous resistance, previous support. support. So this, we really need to get a close below here to start to accelerate lower, okay? And equally, if we move to the upside, this whole area has been sold before, so you really want to see a daily close above 3450s. OK, so that's what I would be uh, looking uh, looking at uh, going into the week. I hope everybody has a great of whatever is left of your Sunday. Don't forget, U.S. markets are closed tomorrow. I'll see you guys for uh, London Open. Have a great one. Thanks for listening. And don't be shy. Uh, don't be scared of sharing if you enjoy the content. Have a great day. Bye bye.